everybody and thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial we're going to talk about some of the updates that were recently made to Google Slides. Now while this update is already available to Gmail users it is scheduled for release for Google Apps for Education users very soon. In fact I think it's going to come out tomorrow May 18th. So be looking for that if you are a GAFE school. Um, and this new addition to Google Slides is very interesting because what it does is it allows you to create a more interactive experience for anyone that's observing or watching your slideshow. So where you'll find this update is in the present menu. Now before when you would go to present you had some different options but you're going to notice very soon that those options have changed and if you click the drop down menu you're going to see a presenter view. What this does is it allows your audience to ask questions during your presentation. It, in essence what it does is it creates sort of a back channel that you can view and you can bring into the presentation at any time that you'd like. Now I've got two screens open at this time so we can kind of see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and go into presenter view and I'm going to move this panel over to the other monitor so you can see what's going on. Now when you first go into presenter view it just says continue recent or start new. Now I've actually done a previous uh, presentation with presenter view on this same slideshow and if I hit continue recent uh, what you're going to see is that there are already questions going on in this presentation. So anytime you use presenter view it keeps a back channel of questions that the audience has asked and you can continue with it later. And that also means that when you're done you can actually go back and review questions from people from a previous presentation and see what they said. Now to show you what this looks like from the very start again I'm going to back up a little bit and click exit on this slideshow and we'll start all over again. If I hit the drop down menu and click presenter view we get our pop-up window and I go to the right and I'm going to hit start new. When you hit start new it gives you a link at the top that you can provide to the audience and they can actually already see this because it also appears in a banner on top of your first slide and any other slides that you have while presenter view is on. You'll notice that you can also use the sidebar in presenter view to cycle through your slides in your presentation and you can click next or previous to go through your slides and as audience members log in to the link that's provided at the top of your screen they can ask questions on any mobile device that they might have whether it's a phone or a tablet, whatever they have. So I'm going to log into that link on my phone and I'm going to submit a question. Actually I'm just going to make a little comment and on my phone I'll hit submit and of course there it is. Now as a presenter I can have this monitor up and I can view the questions before I put them out of my slideshow but if I have a question from the audience that I would like to put up on the screen and address anytime I want to all I have to do is click present and so as I click present you'll notice on my slideshow it changes and you can see the comment from the audience member as well as their name or profile picture and then when I'm ready to go back to my presentation all I have to do is go back to the presenter view screen and click hide and so then I can continue through my slideshow as I want. If I want to turn off the presenter view I can by clicking this toggle switch and if I have any speaker notes associated with this slideshow I can access them from this tab at the top of the presenter view screen. One other feature that they added at the same time involves a laser pointer that has been added to the floating toolbar on Google Slides. So if I go into my presentation and my floating toolbar pops up I can click on the laser pointer tool and it changes my regular arrow to a laser pointer which is very handy because what that allows is that as I'm presenting if I want to highlight or bring attention to anything that's on my screen it's much easier for the audience to see that laser pointer. Well hopefully you'll find a good use for these updates. I know I have. This is very handy. It's something that you can use to involve your students in the classroom while you're presenting your slideshow or even involve audiences of a large group when you're presenting at a conference or a trade show. 
Well, thanks again for joining me. And if you'd like more information about any of my tutorials or any other information about Google tools, just go to my website at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks again.